Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Trying to find tarot. I'm trying and I will be doing a reading for you today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I'm just going to be reading whatever the channel the message is for you today. I'll be using my Nightmare Before Christmas deck. It's been a big hit amongst the crowd, okay? <laughs> and um, summer is wrapping up where I'm from. I got one last beach day in, took me a little beach break yesterday, and it was wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait for fall to come. I'm a Halloween junkie. I'm a bigger Christmas junkie. And I felt inclined to pull out my Nightmare Before Christmas deck. And if you love this movie the way that I do, or if you're a fan of Tim Burton, you're gonna you're gonna like this deck. It's super cute. Okay, it's in Roman numerals, so I have a trouble with the Roman numerals. So I'm really just gonna count things out on the card. Okay. <laughs> All right, I've gone ahead and I smoked my decks to clarify them. I've anointed my wrists, and we are ready to go. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels, I need a healing guided message for my sun sign of Pisces, please. What's the message for Pisces today, angels? Okay, the tower wanted to jump. So a surprise. A wake up, shake up, or make up. We'll see. So next card for Pisces, please. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. There might be... When you get home, Pisces... There might be a gift of some sort that was delivered to you that's waiting outside your door, okay? What's inside may shock you, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, we have the chariot here. That's all about victory. It's about travel with the moon card. It's something that's not, that's unknown, but the chariot represents movement, moving forward. It represents a vehicle. It's a Cancerian sign, but it's usually the, um, the emperor or emperor, you know, someone that's in control driving the chariot. Okay. Another one for Pisces, please. <laughs> yeah, major gift. Okay, major gift. Aquarius got this in the same position. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius or you may be receiving some sort of abundance connected to maybe um, something that's work related, really cashing in. I'm hearing cashing in, cashing in, 10 of pentacles. It's the 10 of coins. You don't go higher than the 10 of coins in the tarot, okay? This is big money, big money for the Pisces. Maybe you had to leave a situation. Maybe that was very hard for you. Maybe that was your tower moment. Fighting that 
that choice, okay, of staying where you're at, or maybe the universe kind of came in and made a decision for you and got you out of there. Because the universe will do that. If it's not, if you're just spinning your wheels and there's a better opportunity, but you can't see it, the universe will come in and do something to shake things up a little bit and to put you on the path that's destined for you. And I'm seeing that this was very hard for you, but it's all going to lead. It's leading you to your abundance. Okay, this is financial stability. Something had to be let go. Maybe you had to walk away from a career opportunity that wasn't serving you. Or, you know, with COVID and everything else and all the businesses that had to shut down and you know, a lot of people had to walk away from their businesses. A lot of bars, a lot of hotels, I mean, not, yeah, hotels too. Um, restaurants, all had to close. All had to close. People had to walk away from businesses they had for 20, 30 years, close the doors, okay? That was their tower moment. Okay? Five of Pentacles also mean, you know, feeling left out, having to close the door. But a victory is here on the board and it's sitting right next to the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this was all for your highest good. Believe it or not, believe it or not. Sorry, what is going on here? Oh, okay. Clarify this tower for our Pisces, please. Three of Swords is here. Okay, look at those little devils. <laughs> okay, the um, that's our, our little investigations card that is falling underneath that was falling underneath the tower so something was found out maybe pisces did a little investigating i said uh get me out of there what was revealed to you in this tower kind of shocked you. It's like something was revealed to you. Okay, something was revealed to you, caused you a tower, caused a separation. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is the Nine of Swords in the regular traditional Rider weight deck. And the Nine of Swords is, ener is nervous, anxious energy. It's a very panicky energy. It's a very worrying energy. And with these Five of Pentacles here, maybe you're wondering how you are going to make something happen. Whether that is paying your bills, um, that's kind of what I'm feeling like, like I'm feeling like a job opportunity or something was cut off and you may have been blindsided, but it's all, I'm, I'm feeling it was 
that's the tower the universe sent you because how do I want to phrase this? Like it, um, it may have been like, stable but not fulfilling you had way too much potential to be at the place that you were you know that your higher team knew that and everything happens for a reason and this is for a really good reason clarify the chariot clarify the victory for my Pisces please excuse me for the pause I was just trying to f phrase it in a way that would you know, I could get the message across the best way I could. Please clarify this chariot, please. Okay, like I said, <laughs> um, these are in Roman numerals, and I'm not too good at reading Roman numerals, so I'm counting, okay? But come on, I told you, I told you. It's a win-win victory. And the cups is Pisces and energy. This is the 10 of cups, the 10, the 10. It's ultimate wish fulfillment. And you have the 10 of pentacles on the board as well. What? Can we be friends here? Okay, let me in on this. <laughs> So what had you worried to death is only going to be a situation that's going to manifest. And you're moving forward into this victory of success in money, success in wealth, health, and love. The fool. You can't make it up. This is a brand new start. A brand new opportunity. He's walking forward to his next endeavor because that's what he's been guided to do. You've been guided to move forward and you had problems not making the move because you may have been you're ruled by your emotions. That's why you're a worry wart. You worry too much, Pisces. You worry too much. You're in your head too much. You were confined by these worries here and the universe had to shake it up for you. This is a brand new life for our Pisces I'm reading for, or soon to happen for our Pisces. Once the Pisces really takes the reins, okay? And they drive to their wish fulfillment in emotions and wish fulfillment in finance. They're going to kick themselves out of this Nine of Swords energy. And have a new start. That's what you want. This is what you wanted, a new start. You just didn't know the means on how it was going to happen. Or how you could even. That's what you were worried about, how you could even. But your spirit team knows. Your spirit team knows your potential. They know your talents. They know how unique and special you are, Pisces. That's what they're there for, to help and guide you. One more for Pisces. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it 
They did not. Okay. In Halloween Town, this empress is the cat's meow, okay? Let's just... But she ain't the prettiest card, okay? <laughs> but in Halloween Town, she be working that moo moo. She just be, mmm. <laughs> Sexy bitch in Halloween Town, okay? <laughs> but this is the Empress card, Pisces. This is why you have. A Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups on the board because you're pulling together all your talents and all your resources and you're letting them work together once you get out of this Nine of Swords energy, okay? Um, and I know I was just speaking of your spirit team and you might have um, a mother a grandma, an auntie, really supporting their Pisces, really cheering you on, really cheering you on to victory, like seriously, okay? Since you are, um, I think all water signs have this um are allowed to open up to their intuition a little bit more easily than other astrological signs because they are ruled by their emotions they are able to open up their emotions and their heart more easily they are also easy to be taken over by their emotions okay this is why that nine of swords is here but I see a Pisces that's really taking the reins. And when you when you felt left out or, or alone, you weren't. You had your mama, your grandma, your auntie cheering you on the whole time. And somehow, they helped shake it up for you to get you out of that funk. That's what our spirit team does. Okay. So this is looking super good for my Pisces. Best of luck to you. I can't wait to read for you again. And um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Okay. I love to hear um, if my readings resonated. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of feedback. And... You know, my readings have been touching people and helping people and guiding people. And that's what my purpose is. So don't forget me, okay? <laughs> All right. Bye, Pisces. Ciao.